All right, folks, so back with, I believe, the second duel of the day. I'm not too sure. Let's see if we can actually draw some decent hands with this. And no, we just can't draw any type of decent. This is just, man, oh, man, this just makes me just not want to play the Vendreth, man. It really makes me not want to play the Vendreth. I really like the archetype. I really do. But this right here is just, it's just too, it's too conflicting with anything else because, like, you can't, like, if you if, like if you don't draw you just need to draw two you need to draw two of it and i believe i said this in the, the, the first duel like the fact that you need a ritual spell and there's like not there's only what pretty much one way to get to the ritual spell is uh, two ways actually is by drawing it or it's by oh there's a wet eye driving so this full force virus should not put in any type of work and it does does this trigger please don't trigger Oh, thank God. All right, so you have Return, Red Eyes Insight, and a Fog Blade. And Red Eyes Insight just activates, huh? That's just beautiful. Okay, so now we need a pre-prep because if we don't draw, actually, um, even if I did draw a pre-prep, all right, what do you do? You had a Red Eyes card, right? So I'm pretty sure he's gonna add the Fusion, which is okay with me. Uh. This kind of sucks. This not really kind. It really sucks. You probably should have dumped. Oh, that you couldn't special summon besides that anyway. So, oh man. All right. So he has a fog blade for absolutely no reason. Is he just running fog blade in the deck? Makes no sense. Unless whoa, that does that. So we're gonna get burned for about what 14. We're gonna get a hit with 22, so 3,600 damage we're taking this turn for absolutely no reason. Um, let me see. You can just send any what's name? Okay, no, you're sending that. Why would you send this? Um. Let's see. So I just take that 20. I mean 30. What 38? Oh wait, never mind. He didn't. Wait a minute. 22. Oh, 28. Never mind. I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, this is just horrible. We we can't do anything. But this fog blade is going to protect us. Which uh, the reason why I didn't understand why he played fog blade in the first place because it it literally doesn't do anything to help him. It just helps me out because he can't attack me now. Pretty sure he's going to negate. There's no reason not to. There you go. So now he can't attack me, but he can't attack directly. So that's that's uh that's cool for me. There's a red eyes fang with chain, which is fine. He uh he doesn't have a he does have a level seven now. But I don't think that does anything. Because he really can't you know he can't capitalize because he can't attack me. Then we can just black rose him next turn. Um did you just set the what does red eyes with chain do? Uh, target one, but I can make up to two. You can send this card, target effect monster on the field, equip that target. And if you do, oh, okay, it doesn't do anything. <clears throat> All right, so let's see what. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, yeah, we definitely have to do this. Black Rose? Black Rose is just a fine card. One of the best cards ever created. <clears throat> I don't know why this game is pausing like this man has a solemn warning. Because <laughs> I was like, whoa, sir, when did you get that card? Okay, so what we can do here is I think we can beat him. Uh, no. Oh, I think it is game, huh? No, it's not game. So what we can do here is we could uh, normal summon this, special summon this. Uh, we could send what's the name? We could send Sage. We could send Sage and what's the name? Or what we can do? This is really fun. We could actually origin to bring out this. That's 35, but this doesn't get popped. Um, actually, it can get popped. 
I'm trying to see if we can how we can do this. I could um hmm. How do we do this? We know he has a return of the dragon lord sitting in his hand, correct? That's when to get him back that. I'm trying to see. What what would be the better play? Cause we can dump sage in this. We can ritual summon this out. Pop this. That'd be 28 and 52. You know, I think that's just better. Let's let's do that. <clears throat> let's do that because then we can go into an Omega. And um, oh wait, there's a plague. That kind of changes a lot now. Actually, that's that's the game. Wait, because if I send plague, right? And then I dump this, I could origin. No, because I don't have a card in my hand. God, I didn't do that. All right, so what was my play I was doing here? No, Sage. No, there. Yeah, that would that would have been horrible. Sorry, get you. Get you. And yeah, man, that's why you don't play Fogblade. There's no reason to play. Like if you're if you're if you're not running uh, what's the name, there's no reason for Fogblade. Literally no reason. It doesn't really matter. Pop that. Um, but yeah, there's no reason for Fogblade if you're not playing. Uh, if you're not playing Phantom Knights. Just don't play Fog Blades. You're better off playing uh, Phoenix Chain. If that's what you're going for, that's what you're just better off playing Phoenix Chain because then, like, Fog Blade can end up biting you in the ass for no apparent reason. And it's literally the same thing as Phoenix Chain. Uh, what, what does it do? Can you not change a battle position or something? Yeah, it's the same thing as Phoenix Chain. And I'm pretty sure Phoenix Chain is a lot cheaper, so. If you're basing this off of your real deck, yeah, there's, there's no reason. There's no reason. Um, so. It's down to 28. We can uh, establish an Omega, and then if he kills this, we can once again bring out a. Uh, we can bring out another ritual by banishing the trap, and then yeah, all all is fine. And then we get to see the last card. Oh my God, Dragon Shrine! That's actually pretty bad. But with Dragon Shrine, that means he literally either gets to activate uh, Dragon Shrine or he gets to activate Return. So we can't activate both. So I feel like we just win still. I feel like we win still. He can get back Red Eyes B, uh, Red Eyes B Dragon, and then that'll be the end of his turn. Um, okay, so he's end up setting. Let's see what he set. Uh, he ends up setting return. Okay, like I said, did not matter. He's either going to activate one. Or he's going to activate the other. What happened just now? That does get that back, doesn't it? <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't know. I thought that was a level ten for some reason. Okay, well that's that's fine. I don't know why you didn't use the effect, sir. But that's fine. You're gonna you're gonna trigger my uh, you're gonna trigger my young man. Um, actually, yeah, we're gonna trigger him because I want you to. Uh, yeah, I want you to. I'm gonna get that that dragon lord out of the graveyard so we can get rid of that. There we go. Uh, no, we don't need to do that. Nope. We're gonna ditch and then we're going to send a revenant. Where are you at? There you go. I'm going to send the Revenants, and you guys already know what's happening. Um, if this card leaves a field or is sent to the graveyard? All right. So if it's sent from the Monster Zone to the graveyard, that sucks. Why is this card just not whenever it's sent to the graveyard from the field? That would have been a lot better. Because it does focus on equipping. Oh, there's another Origin, because we need to draw our last Origin in the deck. So, bam, we can do this to get the uh, Young Goblin Zombie. Then we could uh, use this. To dump the young extra Mizuki, um, then we get a uh, Mizuki for the Revenants because everything has to be on the field. Because if it's not on the field, it would be too good. Actually, it kind of would have been. It, it really would have been way too good if it wasn't <laughs> on the field. Just like to really, to really be honest, to like not even shame Konami, it, it would have been too good because zombies have so many ways to put stuff in the graveyard. So it, it would have really been a problem if Vendred just triggered off the graveyard or whenever they're ritual summoned like gins like gins have no way consistently to keep putting them in the grave to get them on the field i mean or to get them to your hand zombies have we have we have gozuki we have samurai skull we have unizon we have pyramid total we have so much shit to bring it out so i can understand why now be right back let's see the time and i'll be back all right fine it was a decent duel it's a decent duel but now I understand Konami's logic behind it, even though I still don't agree with it because, um, I mean, it's it's zombies, man. When the last time you actually seen zombies besides like solitaire and stuff be played in a meta deck? Oh my God, this oh yeah, they they would have been a problem. 
Yeah, it would it kind of would have been a real problem. Yeah, come to think about it, yeah, it would have been a problem. Jin's, uh only thing you have is like Armageddon Knight and stuff like that. But like this, we have we have triple Gozuki, we have uh, Unit Zombies, we have Samurai Skulls, we have so much ways to get to the uh, cards. But yeah, man, that's it for today. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. It wasn't you know too spicy, but we did play a decent Joey. He was on his way. But we did end up drawing out of it. We drew into the, I believe, Origin, and then that's what really started everything. So yeah, that's it for today. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, stay tuned for one more. Um, and yeah, man, be right back. And if you would like to help support the channel, all I ask for you guys to do is click an ad. That'd be enough for me. Thank you. See you later.